episode, we're going to look at some Ruby objects and how we can speed them up with minimalization. And to do this, I'm going to use VS Code, which is my code editor of choice right now. And a lot of these kind of functionalities also exist in other editors like Vim or Emacs. But a couple of the plugins I'll be using is the Ruby plugin. And then also the Code Runner plugin. And the Code Runner one will allow me to execute my Ruby code right there from within the editor. And it'll show me a little terminal with the resulting outputs. So that's going to be super helpful in this episode. So to get started, I just created a empty folder. And within that folder, I have a empty user.rb file. So in a lot of cases, if you're familiar with Ruby on Rails or Active Record, you could do something like user.find and then pass in a integer, and that's going to return a Ruby object. So in this episode, I want to create a oversimplified version of this to where we can do a user.find, pass in an integer. We can also do a user.first to return the first one, and then a user.all to return all of them. And by doing this, by no means am I trying to replicate or replace what Active Record is doing, but for this episode, I just need the functionality of returning a user record, and I want it to be a object like, so we are going to be using the open struct. However, in no means is this episode trying to recreate what Active Record is doing, but adding Active Record into this project would be an overcomplication, and I'm not really looking to do that because we're going to lose our focus. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.